Welcome to another episode of Yucky Nasty Bug Facts with your host, Hal Coleman. And now here's Hal with today's episode. Hello folks, this is Hal Coleman with another episode of Yucky Nasty Bug Facts. Today's Yucky Nasty Bug is the Hornets. Hornets and Yellow Jackets. We're going to talk a little bit about them because it's it's late sun. It's midsummer here in Georgia, and mid to late summer, we have a lot of problems with people running into hornets and yellow jackets out in their yard. You know, they'll be mowing the grass and they go over a yellow jacket's nest, which is down in the ground. There's a little hole in the ground. You run over that with a lawnmower. When you come back around, there are all these swarming yellow jackets, and they attack you and they sting you all over the legs and everywhere. And then you got the hornets. Those nests are above ground. Now the nests look very, very similar, except one's above ground, one's below ground. This is the bald-faced hornet. These three, there are two different species of hornets here, but they're black and they have white faces, little white rings around the abdomen. These two brown ones are European hornets. Euro yeah. European hornets. They live in hollow trees. They don't build an out outside nest like that usually, but uh, the bald-faced hornet is the one that you're gonna run into. I have a large hornet's nest here that I took down out of a tree uh, there aren't any hornets in it now, but it was hanging up just like this. Here's the little hole where they go in and out. And this is just a large upside down teardropped paper. Con it's constructed out of a paper that material that they use. Uh, they construct it from uh, actually plant material, mix a glue with it, and they build this nest. Large hornet's nest. You see one like this hanging in your yard? Don't mess with it. If they're up really high and they're out of the way and you're gonna, not going to bump into them, uh, enjoy them, you know, watch them, watch them build the nest, watch it get bigger and bigger. It's kind of a conversation piece. Sometimes it might be built right in the corner of a window and you can really watch them. But if they're down near, uh, say, in a shrub and you might be mowing the lawn and you might run into them, you might encounter them in their flight path, uh, you might want to think about getting rid of them because they can sting you pretty bad. If you're allergic to uh, stinging uh, wasp, bee, and yellow jackets, then you know, you can go into anaphylactic shock and you can actually die. So uh, especially children and elderly people don't need to get stung if they can help it. Uh, it's not fun. It feels like somebody took a drag off of a hot cigar and put it out on your arm or wherever they sting you. So you don't want to get stung if you can help it. But if you do, put some ice on it. It'll be okay unless you're allergic. Uh, if you have any questions about hornets, bees, or wasps, you like to talk more about them, you can give me a call, Hal Coleman at 770-475-7419. Uh, should be on the screen right here somewhere. Or right, you can check out our website, NorfolkTenExterminating.com. And that's it for this episode of Yucky Nasty Bug Facts. I'll see you next time. <music>